Well, it is Sunday, July the 24th, and this is the Greenbrier Valley Church of the Nazarene with your daily devotion. Today we are reading 2 Timothy chapter 4, verses 1 through 8. Here's the word of the Lord. In the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who will judge the living and the dead, and in view of his appearing and his kingdom, I give you this charge. Preach the word. Be prepared in season and out of season. Correct, rebuke, and encourage with great patience and careful instruction. For the time will come when people will not put up with sound doctrine. Instead, to suit their own desires, they will gather around them a great number of teachers who say what their itching ears want to hear. They will turn their ears away from the truth and turn aside to myths. But you, keep your head in all situations, endure hardship, do the work of an evangelist, discharge all the duties of your ministry. For I am already being poured out like a drink offering, and the time for my departure is near. I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. And now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day, and not only to me, but also to all who have longed for his appearing. And that is the word of the Lord. The article today by Lexi Sundberg is Work and Rest. There is no greater feeling than setting down after a long, busy day, especially a day where good work was done. The sense of relief and a chance to rest is wonderful after hours of being on the go. But waiting for that moment while you're still busy can be hard. Here in 2 Timothy, Paul is waiting for that very moment. He knows he is about to be done with his ministry and his life. And he is looking forward to the rest and the reward that comes after. This is what we, followers of Christ, are looking forward to as well. One day, when our work is done, we will rest in Jesus and receive our reward in heaven. We eagerly await our crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award. But first... We must work hard at the task set in front of us, which Paul says is preaching, teaching, encouraging, and correcting, and to do it well. It is a good fight that we are fighting, and we must give it our all before we can set down to rest in Christ. The hymn today is Blessed Assurance by Fanny J. Crosby. Perfect submission, all is at rest. I and my Savior am happy and blessed, watching and waiting, looking above, filled with his goodness, lost in his love. And from the book of Philippians, chapter 3, verse 14, I press on towards the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. And this is your daily devotion for Sunday, July the 24th. Have a blessed day.